Hello, folks. Back in the end of 2023, from the Elmdurs Bros. Talk Show. My name is Elmdurs. My name is Little Edmund. And my name is Little Chan. You're watching the Elmdurs Bros. Talk Show. Only on the YouTube channel. This is brought to you by the Elmdurs and Bluegrass Productions. One of the finest main companies in the world with Bluegrass Music. Is that right, people? Is that right, folks? And, um,. Stay tuned for the interviews for the rest of the time of this year, 2023. And stay tuned for more interviews. Yeah, interviews. Yep, and um, I'm Evan Durson. This is a little Evan. This is a little Chan. Stay tuned for the interviews on the Evan Durson Podcast. Which is brought to you by the Evan Durson Podcast Productions. One of the finest main companies in the world, world Bluegrass Music. Is that right, people? Is that right, folks? Stay tuned for the interviews. Take care. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye. Well, I welcome Salty, man. This is my second one I took up of the day in this exact place. My name is Evan Derrickson from the Evan Derrickson Bluegrass Talk Show. All about the thumbs up and playing some of the Monica 2. <laughs> yep, but anyway, I'm brought to you by the Evan Derrickson Bluegrass Productions. It's one of the finest music companies in the world, the world of bluegrass music, and I'm um, here at the Studebaker House at the near, next to the Evans Family Ranch in New Carlisle, Ohio. I'm going to be here for the Bluegrass Resistance Walkers and Awareness here in New Carlisle, Ohio at the Evans Family Ranch. And uh, this guy's the headliner, and uh, he's a Dark Shire Report nurse. And the name of the good hat on, named Rick Ferris. Yes, sir. With well, a good special seat shirt. Good How you doing, Rick? Yeah. And please be sure to check out Uncommon Sky out on Dark Shire Recording. Yeah. How you doing, Rick? I'm great, Evan. How are you? I'm doing good. It's been a while. Since even a year, almost a year ago, since I've seen you in Topeka. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm back in Ohio. Indeed, yeah. yeah but how do you like being at the Evans Family Ranch? I'm I love it. Uh, not only is it a really cool ranch, uh, they, they have a lot of things that they do, of course. They're, they're growing lots of, of things here. I mean, you know, vegetables, but also beef. Uh, and I'm really excited to get to the uh, the general store and, and see the festival stuff. The the stage, we saw the setup earlier. It looks awesome. You guys are doing such a great job. Yeah. And uh, can't wait to pick for the folks. Oh, yeah. And you We're got, gonna, got a meet and greet, too. Oh, yeah. So. 1030. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. For the pictures to come out. But anyway, yeah. Um, the Rick, um, you're closing out the show tonight at nine, but, yeah. and I asked Nick the same question: What's it like to play with Nick Dumas? I mean, about again for the yeah. The well, I I love picking with Nick. It, it, he's uh, he's a really great singer, a wonderful mandolin player, and um, you know it reminds me very much of our time on the road. We had four years together on the road, and uh, it was special C and did a lot of singing together. And he really is like a brother from another mother. So. Um, you know, just getting to, to share time on the road with him, share meals, stories, catch up. Oh, it's yeah. it's a wonderful time. I, I love getting to pick with Nick. Oh, yes. And um, you guys have an album. You, actually, you have an album out. Not you guys, but you have an album out. Yeah. Dark Shadow Recording. Title, Uncommon Sky. And uh, yeah. let's talk about the three. I mean, this is the first four um, is out on Dark Shadow Recording as well as the other 12 tracks. Including my favorite, Topeka Twister, one nice. of my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and love that let's talk about Power of Love. How that come about? Yeah, so the Power of Love. Um, you know, when uh, when we were trying to think of what songs we would do on the record, yeah. Stephen Mojan, who's my producer and and he runs Dark Shadow Recording, he asked, "Do I want to do a cover? Because I haven't, I didn't do one on the last record." Yeah. And I said, "Yeah, I'd love to." And he said, "You know, well, what what are you thinking for a cover?" I said, "Well." Uh, 80s rock sounds like some fun. We can maybe dig in there and see what we can find. And he said, "Yeah, sh shoot me some demos." And uh, and uh, I, I just after I'd sent a bunch of them, I, I realized, oh my goodness, one of my favorite songs of all time is "The Power of Love." Yeah. And so I sent that demo, and Stephen said, "Nope, that, that's the one. We're gonna do that one." So oh, okay. uh, that's kind of how that came about. Uh, Stephen just asked, "Do you want to do a cover?" And and that that one just sounded like it would really work well for. The Rick Ferris band. So. And then you had a second song on there as a second track. Is uh, I mean the fifth track. Excuse me. You know, it's too you good. Too lonely, way too long. Yeah. That was a that was that was done with Del McCurry. What was that? Yeah. I know it was a birthday present for you and yeah. Del McCurry, a legend tenor singer like you are. And what was oh, that thanks. experience like to um, <laughs> have that Del McCurry have on your album? Oh, you know, um, so. 
you're right. It, it was a birthday surprise for me, and uh, Stephen and Yana there at Dark Shadow, they were the ones who kind of put that together with Ronnie McCurry. They got it all figured out to do a, a birthday surprise for me. Um, but, you know, Del McCurry is my favorite tenor, favorite singer of all time, and in any genre. I just, Ronnie I McCurry? Love, no, 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 sorry, Del McCurry. Del McCurry. Del McCurry. Del McCurry. Right. I, I love Del singing. He's such an influential tenor singer, and... Oh, yes. uh, and he just sings with such gusto and and what feeling. gusto means? Gusto is like uh, he, like a lot of mus muscular oh, yes. uh, intention uh, power. Yeah. So so uh, he was singing with gusto and uh, and I just I love his style. He's such a great singer and to have him on my record is just a dream come true. Yeah, it is a dream come true. Even Ronnie McCurry playing man alone on it. Yes. All yeah. some of the songs. Oh, he's so good. Yeah, Ronnie was on my last record as well, and uh, and he came back and, and guested on mandolin and singing, uh, yeah. and he played on Topeka Twister, the mandolin. Yeah, the mandolin on the ending special was really good. Yeah. Check that out. Yeah. 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 And, um, and Misery Go Round, that was Misery the other one Go he was Round. on. And he sang, he sang the lead on the chorus, and I jumped up to tenor. It's like, it's like almost with the, the one of the songs you did a while back, too. Mm -hmm. Like the tenor, you had to have the lead on it, yeah. and then you went to tenor when you sing. I did, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, let's talk about the third track is on there. Is me and you co written this together. Yeah. And then we have two different stories, memories, and different stories. But what was? Let's talk about Don't Hold Back. I know you. I came up with the hotel at the hotel stand mm -hmm. in Topeka. Yeah. How did you? What was your thoughts of it when we wrote that together? Well, when you when you brought up the title Don't Hold Back, it it made me think of uh, you know. Every day we, we have a choice to to kind of be reserved or, or quiet, um, or we have a chance to, to live our lives with with a purpose, meaning yeah. like you know just just going out and doing it with with love in our hearts and confidence in our right. our our uh, spirit, yeah. and um, you know don't hold back. It made me think of. Uh, the, my running routine that I do, and, oh, yeah. and just being thankful and grateful to to be living and, and moving forward. Oh yes, and now so. we, I know the song was nominated. I mean, the song I thought of. See, I thought the song was on the second album. I thought it was going to be nominated. I thought it was nominated for. I knew it was nominated for song of the year. I mean, yeah. it's a gospel song of the year. It uh, is, I made May last year. Um, it was last year at the I made May. The, um, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. See you on the other side. Yeah. So the um, that that was uh, yeah that was incredible. I, I just was just so honored by by the uh, the nominations last year and this year. Yeah, this know? year. Let's talk about that. Um, yeah. Before um, I ask you any more about that question, but um, what was it like to? Um, being um, nominated for Song of the Year and also Songwriter of the Year. I sent you a text. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. You one. did. That was very, very sweet of you. I, you were I, like, what? Yeah. No, I, I hadn't heard yet. And you were the one telling me that, that it, uh, uh, my my feed was, was behind and I, I hadn't heard yet. So and I was very excited. Um, you know, and the the first single off the new record is Power of Love. And that's yeah. the only one that is eligible this year for... Yeah. any kind of awards and oh, so yes. to be nominated for song of the year that's that's incredible yeah it's very, very few can sing tenor with del mccurry that's right that's right and so um the uh from the, my dad yeah the plan was to sing tenor over somebody who would sing the lead yeah. um and and that was i wasn't expecting dan or uh, uh, del, del mccurry, McCurry. Yeah. and um so I, I sang the lead all the way through, and I was going to go back and sing tenor. Yeah. But the way that they surprised me is, uh, they're like, hey, your song's done. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And Dell actually sang the tenor oh. above me. Yeah. So yeah, not not many people could sing tenor to Del McCurry. Uh, he gets up there in the rafters, and, and it's so uh, it's so fun to to have him on this yeah. record. He just brought so much to the song, so. Yeah, no, Rick, I am. Uh appreciate for you coming tonight on uh, show at 9 o'clock. What, yeah. What's about, look, I know you have a son's autistic, Parker, yes. and, he, and I want to say thank you for uh, um, having me meet Parker in Topeka. Yeah, I'm glad he's you one, guys He's one of the, all the many reasons I have this event this weekend is because of Parker. Yeah. And I just wanted to say, um, and myself and, and everybody has autism and that's what you Right, right. But anyway, Rick, what's the, about, like, 
for being here at the Bluegrass Musicians, what was it about for you to come here and play some shows in front of the Spirit Hall? I'm glad you asked me that. Um, it, it means a lot to me. Um, you know, when, uh, when you're a parent uh, of somebody who has autism, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not what you expected when you were expecting to have a child, you know, and, and that's okay. You know, it, life will throw all kinds of things at you and you have to learn to, to, to figure out how do I feel about that? Where do we, where do we go from here? Right. And, um, you know, having Parker as a son has been a challenge. But it's also made me a better person, right? And it's it's made me a more thoughtful person. So I I think um, the autism community has given me great perspective. Uh, it, it's made me think differently about things. Oh yeah. And I think that's great. I think it's wonderful. And I think that um, any chance we can we can shine a light on people who have autism and grow awareness and acceptance yeah. for that. That is a beautiful thing. So I'm very glad oh, yeah. that you asked me to do this. Yeah, a couple more in, uh, questions. Yeah. One I want to ask you is um, the song "Please Don't Say Goodbye." What was that like to have that song play on the album? Oh, um, you know, that in particular, that song, um, we kind of were pinching ourselves. Like, What's is this really pinch? happening? Like, 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 you know, am I dreaming? <laughs> yeah. Because uh, we had uh, we had Jerry Douglas on that song. Yeah. What was it like to have him on? That? Oh man, it was incredible. So so I've been listening to Jerry Douglas since I was a very young fellow, and uh, me too. And he, you know, I I play dobro as well. So seeing yeah, Jerry Douglas. Dobro too. Yeah. Seeing Jerry Douglas, uh, he was the one I I kind of fashioned my playing after, me too. and. He, yeah, uh, we got that come. Yeah, yeah. He's just he's so incredible, and he's been on such legendary albums. Yeah. And to get him on my record, just uh, I was blown away. Yeah, I got one more question. Yeah. Is um, the from me on the? I mean, what are they for? Uh, I have to have two questions quick. But one is um, what's the website for everybody can find the album and everything? Well, oh, the website, yeah. Uh, so rickferris.com that will get you there um, and Ferris is spelled like Paris France but with an F yep. so F-A-R-I-S rickferris.com and you can find everything on there so. and then the second question is I know you won the Sirius XM Blue Guts Junction and that was well as other radio stations Glenbrook Dahl and Michelle Lee but mm -hmm. by the way from Ohio but anyway the yeah. um, the question is uh, Rick is the uh, what was that like to have that on the radio with Ned Recky talking about tra side tracks? Oh yeah. Well, Ned, he's uh, he's an old friend. I've known Ned since I was like thirteen or fourteen. He's an so. old friend of mine too. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I've always felt really comfortable around Ned, and I, he's such an incredible musician. But um, it was really great to see him working in that radio DJ mode and you know I, I've seen him on stage all the time with Becky and with Chris Jones over the years well, and, and Rarely Heard who from Ohio <laughs> Rarely you know, Heard you say? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know they were from Ohio. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know I, I've seen him work uh, on stage so many times but this is the first time I watched him work in the studio setting with the radio so that was really cool to see and he's a great interviewer and it, it just it was a great conversation. Well, thank you so much, Rick, and please be sure to check out Rick Ferris at rickferris.com and with his album Uncoming Sky, as well as 11, I mean, 12 tracks on there, and, and Topeka Twist is one of my favorites, though, but I hope he gets nominated sometime, though. I'm Evan Nerson from the Evan Nerson Talk Show, so it's all back, too, but you folks take care. Have a nice day. Have a good one.